please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Pull ups versus chin ups. Which is better? Which muscles do they work? And what should you be doing? First things first, if you guys don't know, this is a pull up and this is a chin up. Make sure you know the difference before we dive into anything else. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so you see here me performing the overhand grip which is known as a pull up. Now, the secondary muscles worked are going to be your traps, you're going to have your biceps involved a little bit as well as your rhomboids, but our main primary focus here is going to be the latissimus dorsi. You want to make sure to maintain full range of motion and really focus on retra retracting that scapula to really work those lats. Now onto the chin up. So you see here Josh performing a nice full range of motion and what he is doing is he's going to be targeting the biceps a lot more. Now. The lat is still the primary mover, but it does bring a few other muscles into play. You're gonna be hitting the traps a tiny bit more. And now we're gonna be moving on to the neutral grip. I like to do this especially when I'm a lot more burnt out because it's a lot easier and it is also very similar to the chin up and it works the biceps quite a bit. So truth is for pull-ups and chin-ups are both equally effective at recruiting muscle fibers. It all depends on the hand positioning and what fibers you actually want to recruit. So first we're gonna be talking about the pull-up. As you guys saw, I tried to do one of these grips, but it doesn't work the lats as much. You start getting a lot more of your biceps, your traps. When you widen your grip, you can actually retract your scapula a lot more. You can really pull those muscle fibers from the lats and really get a nice full range of motion. You can see he's really recruiting it all the way from the bottom to the top. I'm sorry, my finger's way out there, but this is the point. Whereas if he's close, can you go close for one? This guy's talented, if he goes close, you can see he's not going to be recruiting his tight down here and he's going to be substituting with his bicep, his traps and his rhomboids. Grip orientation does matter for bicep activation. So if you guys are looking to work your biceps and you're coming off back and biceps workout, this might not be for you. We're getting minimal um, engagement here because my lap is substituting a lot of the work. Whereas if I go neutral grip or close grip, I'm going to be getting a ton of activation. You guys can see, look at the contraction. I'm getting a serious contraction and I'm using my bicep, not equally, but they're substituting effectively as a secondary muscle. Ultimately guys, pull-ups and chin-ups are both equally as effective in my opinion. I like to incorporate both of them in my routine. I think they both have its purpose, but there are a lot of things to remember. So we're going to tell you three tips right here so that you can actually do proper rep. First tip guys is instead of envisioning pulling your chin over the bar, this is a common tip advocated to people, it's going to be a lot easier if you focus on pulling your elbows down. It's a small little change but if I focus on the chin, I'm focusing too much on that, or so I just focusing on elbows down, it's going to be 10 times easier. Boom. It's a little mental tip but it makes a big difference. This is one of the biggest tips I can give you. What you want to do is you want to imagine that you're actually squeezing a tennis ball in between your lats and what that's going to do is retract, retract your scapula and it's going to really bring in those lats and the traps to work more and build more muscle. The third tip if you guys are struggling to get some reps so you don't feel your forms proper and you want to learn how to squeeze those back, there are machines to help you where you can add added weight. If you don't have that luxury, just get a simple band, attach it up here, bring it down over your knee this is going to give you some extra pull on the way up to focus on getting a good contraction and working on that form. Little tip, but it will help you get used to it. Also, if you want to institute more volume at the end of your workout, here's your solution. Thanks for checking in, guys. If you enjoyed this video, we actually have a comparison of the easy bar versus straight bar. Check it out. We're going to put a card right here. We hope you enjoy this content. We'll see you soon. Woo!